It is now the 500th day since Donald Trump was inaugurated, and after months of predictions that a Trump presidency would leave this country in ruins, well, it is now undeniable that the entire world is seeing massive, serious progress under the president's leadership. We have pending talks with the North Korean dictator. That's just days away. We're going to talk about the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. That now weighs in the balance in the interim. Let's see. Kim Jong-un has halted all of his missile tests. No more missiles being fired over Japan in the interim. He literally is destroying one of his nuclear test sites. It's been disabled. Don't forget, three American hostages were also returned. And he walked over the DMC into the arms of the South Korean president. All good news, not a dime paid, like in the case of Obama or Clinton, in showing peace through strength works. And also breaking today, three longtime North Korean generals have been fired by Kim Jong-un. Another good potential sign of North Korea's commitment to a serious reform. And meanwhile, on day 500, the Trump presidency, let's see, we've seen so many great developments right here at home. We don't even have the time to list them. Look at the side of your screen. Nearly 3 million plus jobs have been created, 300,000 in manufacturing alone. The unemployment rate, an almost unprecedented 3.8%, the lowest in 50 years. American, uh, we, we have for African Americans, all time low unemployment rate. Same with Hispanic Americans, same for women in the workplace. 14 state record lows as it relates to unemployment. Consumer confidence, 17 year high. Now this after passing a historic $3.7 trillion tax cut and cutting 22 regulations for every new one enacted. 